Hey there, tarot lovers. We have our card of the day today. Look what we have. We have the two of wands. Now, let's have a look at the symbolism here. There's a guy standing on the ramparts of a castle. He's got some white lilies and red roses there. He's got one wand bolted to his castle ramparts and he's holding on to his other one and holding on to a globe, which, has, which is the world that he's looking at. So this card is... You know, is standing on in, in in a safe space and getting a vision for your future, getting a vision for what you want to do. This card, this card for me always represented this vision of our mission or our purpose in life. This is the suit of wands, and so it's the suit of our creativity and our intuition, and our connection to spirit, our connection to passion. This is the, that part of us that wants to reach out and do something in the world and every now and then it's important to step back inside of your safe zone of your what you feel comfort in and, and the, the place in your life where where you're feeling comfortable in order to get a, a vision about where you want to go with your life and what you want to do with your life. When we talk about mission or purpose, I mean, what does a lot of people think, you know, well, why do I need to, to, to have a mission or a purpose that sounds like so, like, like the, the Christian missionaries going out there and preaching to the world, I don't want to be anything like that. Having a, a purpose and having like, a, like this idea of a mission is not so, so much so that we can go out and preach our stuff to the world. It's just so that we can find a meaning in who we are. And in a bigger picture, all of us are looking to find this meaning. All of us are looking to find a little bit of purpose. It gives us a sense of self. It helps our ego feel safe and understanding why we're here and what, what we're doing in life. You know, we, we run around sometimes just aimlessly following patterns of our past and the conditionings of old and who we've been taught to be and we're just running around on autopilot without really being conscious or making very many conscious choices we're just letting ourselves fly like the airplane and the pilot could be asleep and a lot of the time we are asleep this card is calling for us to wake up and be a little bit clearer and define our mission in life there's a confusion here to what the mission could be, should be, you know, it doesn't have to have a huge amount of details to it. It doesn't have to be filled with exact and very clear cut boxed ideas. It can be a very general story, but it, that general story is something that we can home in on that is actually quite specific. I feel that my mission, for example, is to share some light, some clarity, some understanding to help myself grow, to become more self-aware of who I am and to help the world wake up to who the world can be and to help me fulfill my truest potential and help the world on the outside do the same thing. I'm here to share some love and some light in this world in, in many different ways and I can do that in many different ways. I want to share some clarity. I want to share these in more in more in specifics. I want to share the clarity of how we can know ourselves deep more deeply, how we can understand our patterns, how we can grow and learn and live to be more in peace with ourselves and how we can integrate stuff that we've normally been afraid to integrate or even look at. These are more of the details in my story and that's where I am right here right now. Maybe in five years time I'm doing something completely different but it's still going to be in tune with my greater vision it's still going to be in tune with the purpose of who I am I know the importance of this car because I spent many years really not having that clarity or or, or having lost that clarity because I had it very when I was very young what I had this this purpose or this meaning when I was relatively young and I knew why I was here but I got caught up in details and hows and stuff and I started doing one thing and um, and I thought well this is my thing because this is part of my mission forgetting the bigger picture forgetting that that clearer purpose and so I'd end up doing that thing for too long yeah when in reality it wasn't serving me anymore because I was forgetting the bigger picture and the bigger picture was you know it can also evolve it can also change as we gain more clarity about who we are even the mission can evolve that's not a point that's not that's not a problem either it doesn't have to stay fixed but 
I forgot part of my mission was about, you know, being true and honest to myself. And that's going to be an ever growing, evolving, learning story as we get to know ourselves more, as we get to realize who we are on a, on a deeper and a deeper and a more honest level. So this card is about being honest, being pure with your thoughts, being, being self-aware and stepping back outside of your life and looking, hey, what am I here to create? What are my gifts? How do I create well? What do I love to create? You know? How, you know, how can I tap into this light, this guidance in my life? And, uh, and, how, and, and what, does this, what does my heart yearn for me to do? What is it really calling? And if it's not calling, get in touch with your heart, get in touch with your intuition. Really question yourself. Don't just um, go with the flow. Flowing is great, it's a fantastic ability, but every now and then we need to actively choose. We need to actively you know, have this relationship with ourselves and with our intuition that can help us act um, be more, you know, taking the tiller of the boat or holding the steering wheel and deciding where we're going instead of just being driven in our lives. And this is, it's the focus and the, uh, and the clarity that this card represents. It comes from being in a safe space and daring to dream. And this card also asks us to dare to dream, to dream big. Ask yourself today, hey, what would I ideally want to manifest in my life? What would I, what would, what is my fantasy to create in my life? You might, it might be, like I say, it might be a fantasy that you don't really believe in, but inside of that fantasy, there's something beautiful. There's a feeling that you really want. So fantasize, dream, dream big, dream massive, so that you can feel inside of that fantasy you can feel the feelings that are involved in it and it's those feelings that are important and the more you practice feeling them the more you're likely to have an idea about how to walk towards a version and maybe a more realistic version of that fantasy i hope you enjoy this little message and i hope you can get time to just sit down and gain a little bit more of a mission statement for your life or just giving purpose for your ego to stop wandering around and start having a little bit more direction and a little bit more clarity about um, how to make great choices and the relationships that we can have in in our lives with the world around us and more importantly with ourselves and our hearts saying that lots of love to you all and i hope you have a fantastic day